to Wayne. Ruth, open up. I thought maybe you left. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I get it. My name isn't great for business lately. I'm sorry, Bruce. It's not your fault. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I see where they're coming from. I will do whatever's best for the company. You know that. I know you well enough by now, Bruce. Don't do anything you'll regret. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were, well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine, Cobblepot sits easier on the tongue. Don't be like that, Bruce. It's for the best. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Well, then I guess congratulations are in order. It's nice to know you'll be the one trapped in this tiny office all day. Oh, I'm sure it's bigger than it looks. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. It'll only take a minute. Oh, Bruce and I can handle it. No trouble. Right, Bruce. Well then, I'll help you out with that. Mm. Looks broken, I'm afraid. Not a good sign, is it? Time to go, Bruce. Yes, Bruce. Time to go. I have a little redecorating to do. Your taste is a little too discreet for me. I think that maybe I'll add a fish tank. A large one. Something exotic. This way, Bruce. I'll have IT come set you up. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Regina. Where the 
happened, didn't it? They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. It's all safe. Don't worry. For how long? Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new bat tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. Thanks, Lucius. Keep that drive safe. Wayne will speak on the issue at a press event tomorrow morning, where we'll learn more about his decision to step down. More on that in a moment. I still can't believe it. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. I don't know. Having it easy sounds a little boring. Perhaps that's why you never take a vacation. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. I've read the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. No, I. Yes, yes, I know it takes time. But... Statement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes, just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. 
It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon. Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all. It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. I've seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, welcome. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Uh, hey, Harp. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Oh, Harvey. Relax. It's me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm sorry. It's, I've been really jumpy lately. Nerves. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. I could never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. <laughs> Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. I'd be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me. Are we being watched? What is going on? The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, in the back of my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare, and I can't get out. They don't run this city, Harvey. You do. You have the highest authority in Gotham. You have all the power, not them. I'm not so sure, Bruce. I'm telling you, they've grown too powerful too fast. I don't know if I can do it on my own. You know what I should do? 
The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You've got to strike fear into their hearts. And maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think. Imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. And he won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. I know he's a vigilante, but Batman's always respected a lot. I don't think he'll change his ways anytime soon. Then he's limiting himself. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. <sighs> Harvey, look, you've been under a lot of stress, especially with all the trauma recently. Maybe, maybe you should... Don't tell Harvey what to do, Wayne! Don't you dare. Oh, God. Bruce, I'm so sorry. I, uh, I guess I just lost myself a little bit there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the, the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Look, Harvey, that therapist you told me about, I, I think you should call her. Maybe she can help you work through... Whatever this is that you're going through. Just think about it, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll look into it. <sighs> See you around, Bruce. interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Bruce? Uh, have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. Vicky might end up giving Bruce Wayne the runaround. After all, a reporter rarely reveals her source. But an interview with Batman, that might be enough to sway her. After all, it did work with Mayor Hill. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who, who is this? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. 